Alright, I think I'm recording. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to always check and touch. <laughs> I don't always have to, but I'm going to this time. Anyway, here's a bad today. Anyway, uh, okay. The future is sort of the subject, but in the context of, um, you know, Matt left a comment on one of my videos, and it's nice to see from, hear from Matt every now and then. I mean, it's nice of him to comment. Um, <laughs> you know, I like that, and, uh, you know, I'm just kind of disappointed we really can't talk too well. But anyway, it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, where I'm going with this is the word infinity came up, and this idea of what the universe is doing, what's it about, what's going on here. Um, and I guess I would argue is what we know is going on is that intelligence isn't creating crude. You know, intelligence isn't... Uh, the, the complex stuff isn't creating the crude stuff, it's the other way around. The simple stuff is creating the complex stuff. And that's the, 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 the recipe for disaster. Um, is, yeah, it's the, the, the dumb matter is driving the bus. The dumb forces, the, the dumb arrangements, the not wise, not brilliant, not uh, innately in, in, informed. So what we can do with this infinity thing, let's say infinity exists, you know, backward, forward, um, infinite universe, infinite before universe, infinite whatever-verse, infinite infinity and beyond. Uh, the tragedy of that reality is that in all of the infinity that has existed before this moment, nothing apparently ever existed that could manage the universe, that could manage the infinity. Um, nothing. I, I mean, there's no, you know, you can't rationally say um, something intelligent exists, uh, like a god or something, because, like, of course, it just doesn't make any sense. A god would not be incapable of recognizing how precious we are. <laughs> I mean, we're incredibly precious. We're precious. <laughs> We're precious all over the place. We're disgustingly pre precious. Uh, just as we can't see past the, the 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 wantings and needings and little meows of a little kitten, one little kitten, you know, can stop us in our tracks and oblige us to do something. We'll jump into a fire. <laughs> you know, because at least I would, because little kitten is in distress. And yet we are supposed to believe that uh, there are there are arrangements of matter in hugely complex forms doing very important business in the universe, and they don't care. They don't seem they want to remain <laughs> unknown to us and keep us in in ignorance. And uh, um, it just doesn't make any sense. You just end up creating a drunk or a demon god, and for what purpose? So I guess the point I'm making is that we've seen what the universe produces, in the sense that the evidence is in the in the lack of evidence, the lack of evidence of function, uh, instrumentality, uh, complexity taking control, it kind of demonstrates that control mechanisms that can survive long enough to play the universe game eternally doesn't happen. There is no, there is no singularity in that sense. There is no uh, accomplishment of the task of taking control of the mechanism and uh, uh, bestowing upon it the benefits of our knowledge and our understanding and our empathy and our wisdom and all that crap. It just doesn't happen. Because it hasn't happened. It's had forever and it never happened. In all of forever in the past, forever goes in the past. Well, that's probably that way to you. But um, anyway, it goes forever, the past. And in all that forever, no thing like ourselves, uh, grew and expanded and became infinite as the universe and started controlling or, uh, you know, putting a little 
plus sign on its ambulance and coming to the rescue and such. It's just not happening. It's not there. There's no mechanism of uh, uh, wise creation. And that this gets us back into the problem of the fact that there is no such thing as wise creation. Uh, you know, in, in a void, there's no way to create a positive without first creating the negative. It's just this, this problem that you, you can't fix what isn't broken. Uh, it's, just, it's just a dilemma of the reality. It's that there's nothing constructive to do until you do something destructive. And that's really important. There's nothing constructive to do until you make something destructive, until you create and until you destroy, until you break it. Uh, you can't make it. And uh, that's a gigantic, huge, monstrous, uh, nasty bit that plagues us here is this reality that we're in a we're in a a reality that is confined by that truth uh, you know that we can't escape these liabilities and uh, so, so, so where do we go from there and what do we do with the the facts of the um, I mean, they're kind of suffocating facts that uh, we're not going to be eternal. We're just a consequence of crude forces, this mechanism of natural selection, a gladiator war. Yeah, we've, we've really, we're really good gladiators. Yeah. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're <laughs> you know, I mean, this is where even it gets, it's even hard to argue for in defense of us just because we have so squandered uh, the 3.5 billion years it took to make this instrument. And then you see what it does in the world. You see the preposterous, silly, juvenile, <laughs> you know, trivial, mush, uh, these brains hunger for uh, the simple answers well not even you can't even say simple answers the friendly answers the user friendly they aren't the convenient truth not the inconvenient truth the uh, make me feel better uh, answer not the no you're gonna die fucker you're fucked they don't want to hear you're fucked as the prescription, as the diagnosis. <laughs> and the prescription is just let it go. All right, quit pretending, live out your life, but quit selling tickets. All right, quit building the arena, quit throwing the players onto the field, quit being a bad god. And that's the, the game we're caught up in. That's the choice the civilization has. The God that is the human race has a choice. It can keep killing its sons and daughters, <laughs> or it can say, no, we've sort of played this out. We see how it works. You know, make a mess, clean up half a mess. Make a mess, clean up half a mess. Uh, there's no, there's no other thing to do here, uh, but, uh, deal with our own, uh, ego problems, our own ambition problems, our own satisfy me problems, uh, that's all there are, uh, there's no other problem, you know, until we show up and complain that with our I want, you know, I want a future, I want a destiny, I want my name in lights, I want my great-grandchildren not to know who the fuck I am, <laughs> yeah, brilliant plan, 
Uh, just, so, anyway, these are the dilemmas of our existence, is that we, there is no future in it, except to perpetuate the ambition. And uh, I think I really should go through the movie A Brave New World, I think it's called that, you know, the H.D. Wells uh, book. Um, just as I think it touches upon some of this futility, some of this, you know, you'll never win, the race never ends, you're just perpetuating a struggle, just, just for nothing. So this walk can be walked, the talk can be talked, the angst can be experienced, uh, the doom, the dread, the fear, the horror, uh, so you can, out of that, glean a few moments of, oh, what a lovely fucking day, <laughs> you know, yes, a few moments of that, where you might not be blighted by uh, the miseries of your condition, your frail physical reality. Uh, your arrangement, arrangement, arrangement of crude material, you know, that has been, through three billion years of filtering, has been filtered into a shape and form uh, that has function in, a, in the game contrived for it, in the game it's been contrived to play but doesn't have any function outside of the game, outside of the narrow structure of the battle, uh, outside of the gladiator arena. There's no home for us. There's no place to go to relax and have a beer. There's just the war, just the struggle, just the endless attempt to satisfy uh, completely delusional notions of grandeur, of accomplishment, of need, insatiable ambitions, uh, daydreams of uh, magnificent conquests, you know, winning the ultimate gladiator battle. Uh, yeah. There's a victory for you. <laughs> yeah, that's the victory. Peace. Rest. And right now, as that rots, the new ones beep, 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 begin the struggle. The battle doesn't end. The fight, the struggle. You just redo it. Replay it. Over and over and over and over again. Uh, and people call that accomplishment. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I certainly do call it failure. It's a logical failure. Some cabbages are growing quickly. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yeah, peeping at the sun. Pyro would imagine, anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's another kind of depressing video because the truth isn't very uh, fun. Truth is kind of suck, it's just the way it is. And please, let's deal with the suck. Let's not pretend it away. Let's not delude uh, break it into a false, fake nonsense with wishes uh, and hopes. This is it. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. So, anyway. creepy moment. 
<laughs> you know, the video is kind of creepy, so it makes sense that I would creepy. Because the video is creepy, the truth is creepy, life is creepy. It's all just creepable. And such.